Welcome to the video tutorial of GreenCloud VPS. When you use Windows, sometimes, you can't open an installation package. One such reported issue is a Windows installer error that sometimes occurs when users try to run program setup files. Now let's go through all the possible methods to fix the error this installation package could not be opened. First, right-click on the installer file. Select the properties. In the General tab, check on the Unblock option. Click Apply and OK. Then, try to run again the installer file. First, open the Services application. In the Services window, locate the Windows installer service. Double-click on this service. Click the Start button to start the service. Save all the changes and try to run again the installer file. We suggest you try all the other methods first before using this method. This method requires changes in the registry. While making changes in the registry follow each step carefully to avoid any system instability. Now, open the registry editor. Once the registry window is opened, navigate to the following path. On the right plane, Locate NTFS Disable 8.3 Name Creation. Double-click on this file. In the Value Data field delete the existing value and put 0. Same way, double-click on Win31 file system to modify its value data. Make sure value data is 0. Finally, click on OK to save the changes. Save all the changes, restart your system, and try to run again the installer file. First, open the command prompt window with administrator rights. To unregister and re-register the Windows installer service, run the following commands. Close the command prompt window on your computer and reboot your computer to save the changes. After rebooting, try to install the package again on your computer. If the error continues to occur we suggest that you should disable the Windows Firewall. If you are using any third-party antivirus disable that too. Antivirus and firewalls block certain programs and services from running. First, type the following command on the Windows search to open Windows Defender Firewall. In the Firewall window, click on Turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. Now disable the firewall for both the private and public networks. Then, try to install the package again on your computer your problem will be solved. 